Here we have an op amp. Now, assuming that it's an ideal op amp, let's go ahead and find the currents through all the branches and the voltages at all the nodes. The currents we're gonna be trying to find are I1 here, I2 here, I3 here, and I4 here. And the node voltages are here at the terminals of the op amp and here for the output voltage. Because this op amp is an ideal op amp, the voltages at the inverting and the non-inverting terminals are gonna be the same and they're gonna be equal to zero volts. Now this op amp is operating in an inverting configuration. We know this because the voltage source is going into the negative terminal of the op amp. So in order to find the output voltage, let's first look at the gain equation for the op amp. We have V out over V in is equal to negative R2 over R1. Rearranging that equation and filling in our values, we get output voltage is equal to negative 10k ohms over 1k ohms times the input voltage, which is negative 1 volt. Solving that, we get output voltage is equal to minus 10 times minus 1, giving us an output voltage of 10 volts. We found all of our node voltages. Now let's move on to the currents. Let's start with the current going through this 2K ohm resistor. So to find the current through this resistor, we simply use Ohm's law. I4 is gonna equal to the output voltage over R3, the 2K ohm resistor, giving us 10 volts over two times 10 to the third power ohms. Now we can solve that and get five times 10 to the negative third power amps or five milliamps. So that's I4 down. We also got VO and these two. Now let's find the currents running through this 1K ohm resistor, R1. So I1 is going to be equal to the input voltage over R1. That's gonna be negative one volt minus zero volts over 1,000 ohms. That's gonna give us an I1 of negative one milliamps. Okay, now let's find I2, the current that's running through R2, the 10K ohm resistor. That's gonna equal zero volts minus the output voltage which is 10 volts over R2, 10K ohms. And that's gonna give us a I2 value of negative one milliamps. Lastly, let's find this current here, I3, that's at the output of the op amp. If we apply Kirchhoff's current law, we should be able to see that I2 plus I3 minus I4 should equal to zero. So I3 should equal to I4 minus I2. That's gonna give us I4 five milliamps minus negative I2 one milliamp, giving us a value of six milliamps. So here we found all the node voltages and all the branch currents of this ideal inverting op amp. I hope this helped you out and thanks for watching.